you are unsure about an unusual project proposal, it is not a typical type of project and it is unclear how long developing the plans will take, you should probably propose to the client A, a cost plus fee contract type, B, a stipulated sum, C, design build project delivery, D, a GMP. GMP means guaranteed maximum price. Uh, and a GMP is actually not a bad answer if it's associated with a couple of the other answers. But by itself, it doesn't really uh, answer the situation. So this is a situation where there's something is like it's a, a project type that's unusual. There's not a lot of documentation about how it uh, about how people have done them in the past. Uh, you know, maybe it's uh, something that's uh, new materials, or maybe it's a, a, a type of uh, project where you're including uh, some new sustainability uh, aspect to it, where you're generating power or something like that, that's just sort of unusual and nobody's really 100% sure how to do it. If you use a stipulated sum, that means essentially a lump sum in your contract, well, if, if I said to you uh, that, uh, yeah, here's a project, I really have no idea how long it's gonna take us, and you said, well, give me an exact number, well, I'm obviously gonna add a whole lot of money into that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna puff it out in order to just cover me for in case it takes the whole time. You know, if I think it'll take 100 hours, but uh, I put in that it's gonna take 200 hours, then if it ends up taking 100 and 70 hours, like, all right, I'm, I'm covered, right? Well, that's a terrible idea for the client because uh, that means they're paying this enormous amount of money just because it's a complicated project. So stipulated sum, while in most situations is probably the reasonable way to go, it just doesn't make sense in a situation where there's a lot of, uh, everybody's unsure about it. Uh, design build uh, really isn't, that's a project delivery, that's not part of what we're talking about. Uh, though it could be, but it's not, it's not directly from the question, so it doesn't uh, seem a, a real potential answer. So when it comes down to it, the answer is gonna be A, which is a cost plus fee contract type. So what that means is you're essentially saying that we're gonna do this hourly, and that the hourly construct uh, is what the cost is. So uh, interestingly, this is one of the things that always throws uh, young architects a lot, is you probably think the cost is how much they're paying you, but in fact, the cost is a combination of how much they're paying you, and then a sort of proration of the insurance, the rent, the uh, vehicle costs, the, all of those other costs that it takes to run the practice. And so you actually have to show all those costs and the timesheets so that the client would actually be able to see that they were getting their money's worth, that they, they were actually paying per hour for hours that have actually been worked. But then the fee is that extra little bit of profit that you're sort of allowed to build on. So it's a complicated situation, it's an unusual project, Nobody's sure how long it's gonna take. Uh, so therefore, in order to get you to not just pad the number, and therefore, if you're able to do it really fast, still charge the client a whole lot of money, uh, instead of doing that, you would choose something like cost plus fee. That's a way that everybody gets paid uh, a sort of reasonable amount, but there's no extra padding because the client sees the actual number of hours that uh, the architect has worked. So the cost would be different. If I have a principal working on it, it's gonna be a higher amount per hour than if I have an intern or a, a project architect, or everybody would have different hourly amounts. They tend to be about three times the amount of money that you're being paid uh, hourly. Sometimes some areas it might be up to about four times. Um, depends, it's sort of a cultural difference and, and some other issues around the country. Uh, but that cost plus fee is the sort of straight cost plus a built-in profit. Now, it's possible that the client might just balk at that because really they're just gonna pay you hourly 
like you could just keep working on something forever. Uh, and so they might demand that it's cost plus fee, but with a GMP, with a guaranteed maximum price. And so you might you know, have some limit that you say, all right, we promise that it won't go over this amount, uh, just so that they have the ability to make sure that they, are, uh, they have loans to cover it and all of that. So this is the kind of thing that you start thinking about in these, in these scenarios. You're trying to put together a firm. Well, how do you organize? How do you get paid? What, uh, what's the way this, the, that you're going to get projects? So am I doing RFPs? Am I uh, putting out uh, 10 RFPs on the hope that I'm going to get one for every 10 uh, that I put out or two for every 10 that I put out? Uh, you know, once you start to look at those things, you realize, well, there's a certain amount of hourly time it takes to get those, all that information out in order to get the projects. Once I'm starting to get the projects, I have to figure out, well, what kinds of projects uh, can I charge in what different ways and what makes sense? Uh, clients will be willing to do certain things in certain situations and not in other situations. Uh, like, you know, in a fairly simple, straightforward situation, uh, I'm probably not gonna wanna pay somebody hourly because I want to have a clear idea of how much money that's going to that's going to cost. Uh, there's no reason in that situation. So those are the kinds of questions that we're really talking about here. Is imagine you're sort of trying to figure out how do I get projects? What do I need to do for an office? I have to get insurance. I have to uh, figure out how I'm going to organize the team. I have to have a series of processes that we go through. So we have the quality assurance plans, we've got the uh, you know, design logs, we've got uh, you know, certain, con we're using AIA contracts, uh, we've got, uh, you know, that you've sort of set up the process and uh, that's what these kinds of questions are gonna be about. It's about sort of making sure that you've gone through and understand the kind of ramifications of all of these different choices. And for those of you who are ready to start preparing for the ARE, and if you're already an AIA member, you can use coupon code 32917PMYT to get a 15% discount for the entire duration of your ARE exam prep membership. And then finally, leave a comment below the video to let us know what you think, share any suggestions you may have. I promise we'll read every word that you write and use them to tune our next episodes. So thanks for watching.